Good morning. So we are here now back at the Renault, and there has been a few changes. So looking at the structural part of the the house, we now came to a conclusion that it's easier to turn this side where I'm standing now has the living area, so we don't need to knock any structure walls down. And that other part there is going to be the bedrooms. So this is not a structure wall will come down and this one also and open up this whole area for um, living space. Now, on this side here, there's a room that we were going to make a bedroom. So this wall also, not a structural wall, will have the lintel on top and behind there will be the kitchen. So that's the plan now. We have some help today to start knocking a few things down that are not um, that need to be come down, especially this bathroom is gonna come out because this is becoming a bedroom. Uh, this here is gonna be bricked in and this side is gonna be master bedroom and ensuite. And today we have some help which will make life easier and um, it means that it means that James does not have to be doing the hard work of knocking things over. He's doing his measurements. Okay, to knocking down walls. <laughs> so uh, we're measuring it all up and uh, then we can have a proper plan drawn so we know exactly what we're doing. So the work is starting. This is Raphael doing... <laughs> his bit. And this is Shite, a big dog. <laughs> So all that wall's coming down and it gives you a good size bedroom here. You look quite different once it's down.
happy in your work? Uh, can't think of anything better besides being on the golf course. <laughs> So Dentley's taking up these tiles very carefully, uh, try and save them, uh, and then we'll find a, a new home for them. Obviously we're gonna lose a... <laughs> Obviously we're gonna lose a few uh, on route, but uh, we'll try and salvage as many as we can. Interesting. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just uh, playing around with plumbing. Plumbing? Yeah. Is that your favourite thing? No, I've got my, my finger on a hole. We have saved the tiles. Well, majority of them. There's still a lot of them to take out. But, got them all piled up here. All the rubbish to go to the tip and all these tiles, then we're going to see what's going to happen. So here is all done. Right, so the plan is to move all this, get this rubbish on the skip and on the truck and take it to the skip because it, it's rotten and it's not serving us any purpose. Um, I think there's some corrugated metal there. I think we're going to use that to make some kind of, uh, uh, what do you call it? What did I say? Compost. Oh, compost. Like a bay for a compost heap uh, down there. So we'll take that down and build that maybe later. Yeah, that's worth gold. Yeah. This little piece of wood is uh, 30 euros. I know. I think I've got my pants pulled down. <laughs> Okie dokie dokie doos. Right, uh, we've managed to clear this area. Uh, this timber we're keeping, there's some good pieces that I can use for some projects I've got. And some of the posts, which are good, are gonna go down there to build the, um, oh. I know I've said this before, to build the frame, Shelter for dip bap but diddle it diddle it do 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 scooby doo be doo be doo be doo be doo be doo be doo. Uh, what is it we're building? Oh, God, uh, compost heap. That was it. Got so many things going on at the moment, I can't f remember everything. The compost heap, uh, and these doors here, which were given to us from the local. Well, the, the school that was, which is no longer a school, is a, an art centre. Uh, we were given these doors when they did the refit there. And I'm going to use those, we're going to refurb them, and we're going to use those as the entrance doors for the uh, workshop. Um, and then once uh, I've cleared up here, uh, this rubble, which we knocked down a month or so ago, is going to be put here. And that will act as a hard standing. Um, maybe we can park the truck here or whatever we do. Um, but it will just give us some firm ground before we go down onto the land, which is muddy when wet. Fortunately, it's not that wet very often. Remember them being this heavy. I mean, they're getting weaker. 
and there we um yeah so this is what they look like got a nice trim on them but that's gonna be standing in the wall here up this high so somewhere here the entrance into there <laughs> I'm just gonna get something a little bit stronger to cut that plant there and then we can get it ready for putting the gravel down not the gravel the uh, rubble should I say I'm thinking uh, because we've got a man with a digger turning up at some point and I'm thinking that uh, maybe he can scoop all that out of there and put it here for us and flatten it out It'd be a lot better than handballing it out here but we're getting the digger in because we want to dig some trenches for the irrigation to go to the polytunnel and uh, after speaking to a few people um, it's easy to just do it with a digger uh, so that's the plan we just got to get the man over and uh, see what he thinks and we've got a few other things that we need doing while he's here as well so we'll get that done ready for future projects anyway I'm gonna get a glass of water Right, I've been thinking about the polytunnel floor and we keep to in and fro in. One minute we're thinking wood chippings, the next minute we're thinking gravel or even some kind of pathway up the middle. Uh, we don't know, but I think we have made a decision and I think it's going to be gravel. Don't ask me why, I've got no idea. But... Well, I do have an idea. Uh, number one is that we were going to buy a chipper and they're ridiculously expensive for something that we will use to chip all that um, and then not probably use it for another two years. So it seems a very big expense for something that gets very little use and I don't, don't mind spending money on things that we use regularly. But to do it, um, to spend money... Uh, on something that we get very little use out seems a waste of money uh, so we opted out of that we could buy chippings which is cheaper than a chipper but trying to find them is near on impossible not in bulk anyway so having a bit of trouble with that so I think we're just going to go with gravel because that's the quickest and easiest solution uh, it doesn't decompose uh, and if we get any problems with it we'll change it but let's see I think we're going to do that I think that's the best option for now skip gonna unload the rubbish so that I can get some uh, materials on the van I need to get some gravel on here so uh, that's the plan Lincoln Lincoln here we go 
And the only thing ruining the atmosphere is that little rat. Oi, rat, come on. Come on. Let's go. Leave the sheep alone. Lincoln. Lincoln. Come on. Come on. Come on. This way. Come on. Come on, Lincoln. Bat. There you go. Lincoln has this tendency to bark at anything. Uh, but funny enough, when I was up the top there, he didn't come down. Esme was down here, but he's a chicken. But when he's got other other dogs and people around him, he becomes all tough. <laughs> just the top right anyway look at this the bees are busy thriving right time to get on it didn't look so much when it went in mm -hmm. <laughs> Once I get it off this door, of this I can open it and scoop it in. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take that down and see how far we get with it and then we can gauge how much we need to take down there. trailer was definitely a game changer definitely Right, the last push. How are you feeling, darling? Oh, look at that sweaty face. That's twice in one week you've sweat. I'm exhausted. <laughs> but nearly done. Nearly done. So. Got about two meters to go. So, uh, well done. I think I can uh, leave you to it now. I don't think so. Mm, okay, right. Let's get this last bit done. We've got 
just this last bit in the trailer which is probably too much to be fair Yeah, that was hard work. But, looks good. Uh, okay, so for anyone think it, wondering, we're not growing in the floor, in the ground here. We're gonna raise the beds up higher and they're gonna ball it, be in case so we don't need to get to the soil. But I did some research and they were saying that gravel's very good for humidity control in a polytunnel so uh, and as I said earlier finding wood chippings was a nightmare yeah. so well was hard work was all worth it hard work was worth it and the final temperature in here is yeah, still 42 degrees beautiful well done darling oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I would kiss you but you're sweaty Right, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to put some batten across there to stop the stones coming out and eventually we're going to be building a shed-like structure in front of this whole polytunnel so, and, a door. and a door, obviously we're doing the door, that'll be the next task I'm thinking about putting the door on, maybe on a sliding door That's another job. Might have a job with because of those buttons there. No, but I'll get around it. Right, good. Uh, I've got to rush because I've got to go and help somebody. A friend of ours needs some stuff taken to the skip. So I've got to go and load up the truck for her. Anyway, onwards. It needs it to work. Yeah. Good effort, darling. Well done. That's good. Yeah. Right. Thank you, darling. way Boris absolutely loves going on on a tractor and now as soon as uh, James puts the quad bike on he's <laughs> straight on it he's just like take me take me so yeah it's quite exhausted because he's been going up and down and we had the, the sheep around so it just runs around the fence following them so it's tiring for little legs but uh, he enjoys that Whew. beautiful day but it's a bit hot to do what we're doing it's only about 22 degrees it's just sorry about the state of me I'm absolutely exhausted. Nice shower now. Woo. There we go. <laughs> 